Hello, Brian. Thanks for setting your swing on the Golf Digest Challenge. My name is Mike Richards. I'm going to be analyzing your swing today. The camera is pretty much down the golf ball. It's like target line. Okay. What I'd like to see you do if you film yourself again is move this camera to the left so the camera angle goes right through your hand line. That's going to give me a really good image of what needs to go on here. Now I drew a line up, the red line up your shaft. Now I want you to see as you take this back, it's going to appear to be under plane. Now if the camera was correctly positioned, that may not be looking like that. So I'm not too concerned with that because that, that may be just an optical illusion based on where your camera is located right now. But here's what's not going to be uh, missed from us. The top of your backswing, you do a really nice job of setting that shaft and setting that club. I really like the position of the face of the golf club with your left arm. That's really nice and parallel right there. Really nice and square. However, I want you to watch this first move as you move down. You see how your hands kind of meander a little bit more towards the golf ball. So they're in a really nice position here. And then they go pushing out towards the golf ball and your body kind of dips down. Now what's happening is that club's coming in a little steeper than what I would like. And then the longer the club, the steeper the shaft, the more right you hit it. Now this iron half doesn't look like it's a, that bad of a shot, but I want to show you something here. Let me give you some, some models here. It's a model of Tiger Swing. When he swings a club down, you see where the shaft is right there. The shaft is lowered down closer to his right forearm. Your shaft is closer to the middle of your arms or almost to your left arm. But importantly, let's go back and look at the transition that Tiger has in his swing. The club goes up the club works down. If anything with the golf club, these guys out on tour make the club work back behind them. You have the club working towards the golf ball there. So you have a little loop. Unfortunately your loop is inside towards the outside. Most of the guys will have a loop that goes a little bit more behind them, shallows them out. I'm going to show you a really big one. Uh, where is he? Here he is. This swing is all over the charts, but you're going to see what I'm talking about. Here's his back swing. They put a mark right here. This is Roy Sabatini. As he swings it up, I want you to watch how much this club points to this tree, then kind of works back around to his head. And then you see what his hands do? His hands actually work back towards the inside or more towards our left or behind him. Your hands at the top of your swing, they work more towards the golf ball. When you watch his downswing, he really shallows that club out nicely. Love that position right there. So I would have you, Brian, work on kind of making sure your club and your hands and your arms work a little bit more down and not out. Now how would I do that? If I had you as a student, Brian, I would take a very long stick, and I have a flag I use actually, I bought it at uh, one of the hardware stores and ripped the flag of it off. So I have this big long stick. I put it right outside the golf ball. So if this is your target line, I'm going to put that stick outside and make it go clear up here. And when you get to the top of your backswing, you're going to swing slow enough that you transition down, you transition those hands working more down versus out. You can see how those hands are moving out. Now, everything else you do in the swing, I think you do a nice job. But you're losing just a little bit of power because it looks to me like, Brian, you get a little crampy through the hit. I can't tell from this angle for sure, 
but it looks like you get just a little bit of a pull in right about there. I don't like the way that elbow looks right here. So if you have been known to have a little chicken wing action there in your golf swing, that's the reason why. I like to see those arms extend out more so I shouldn't see this elbow so clear right here. Brian, hopefully uh, that helps you out. If you have to, if you want to, send me another swing. Again, make the camera adjustments. If you have a camera where you have a sport mode on the camera, change it to sport mode so I can see a little bit more framework. And uh, work with a big stick, like I said, Brian. It'll help you work those hands down a little bit better for us. And then when those hands work down better, then our arms and body can release us a touch bit better, a little bit more extension. Thanks for sending your swing of the Golf Digest Challenge, and good luck to you, Brian.